Hello, we the staff at the School of Horology uh, in Columbia, Pennsylvania are coming to you to examine and compare an Orient 4694321 Joule automatic winding watch to an ETA 2892A2 uh, to show you the complication uh, from the Swiss uh, to the simplified version within the Orient watch winding system. Here we have the ETA 2892A2. Uh, we will uh, remove the rotor and show you there are three screws that actually hold this rotor in place. Okay, as you can see, we have the automatic winding system off since we have taken those three screws off. I'll set the movement over here. We'll take a look at this this winding system. <coughs> We're going to take the bridge off right here and you'll notice there's one, two, three, four, five, I think there's five or six wheels under here. So we'll, uh, we'll take this off and we'll take a look and see what we have under here. One, two, three, four, five, And we'll take this one off real quick. I'm going to take the, uh, the, the weight axle off the bridge here. And uh, that's held on with three extra screws. And then we can assemble or disassemble the last wheel. This lengthens the time for servicing the watch and uh, creates uh, extra wear within that system. Well, there's a, there's a lot more parts, that's for sure. Here's our bridge. Here's this last winding up wheel. Here's the bridge. And here is our rotor. So, what do we have? We have the rotor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, not counting the screws. Orient watch and uh, turn it upside down, show you the inside of the movement, and then take uh, the automatic winding system apart, and you will see uh, the simplification uh, that it actually has one wheel, as we said previously, with two little paw fingers uh, that work the wind-up wheel. Uh, and this basically has two uh, well, three screws all total, uh, but two screws actually hold the winding mechanism to the movement. And one thing you want to note before I take this screw out is there are um, ball bearings in here. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, I'm just barely flipping this around, and this automatic is really moving around a lot. So it takes very little movement to make a lot of uh, uh, a wind-up motion here. So let's take this one screw out that holds the automatic down. We'll take the automatic weight off. And you can see in here, you see the little ball bearings. One here. Over here. And this turns real free. Now, all we have to do is take this screw out and this screw off and this whole automatic system will come off. All right, we'll have this off in just a minute. Okay, there's the winding system. This is the ratchet wheel. This is what actually winds the mainspring up. Uh, in future videos, we'll, we're actually going to take these completely apart. And uh, once we uh, get more accustomed to our camera, we'll be able to show you in more detail the, uh, um, the different parts. But this first one we just wanted to show you, in, in our opinion, is probably the su most superior system that they have for winding. Um, you have one wheel. This is it. I can take this out right now. I'll just pull this right out. So there you are. 